120 drivers are registered for Saturday night's event at Doherty Speedway near Boswell. Owner-operator Michael Doherty says he's changed his operating plan to meet the same COVID-19 restrictions on businesses that are allowed to operate at 50 percent of overall capacity and 25 percent capacity in common areas. We have an extremely large seating capacity and we're limiting that to 20 percent. We um, are taking the temperature of all of our staff to ensure nobody's running a fever. We're recommending anybody with an underlying health issue do not come. Doherty says he's added hand sanitizer stations and put physical distancing requirements in place. He's eliminating concessions to prevent people from congregating. The driver meeting will be held over the radio. His staff is wearing masks and he encourages the public to wear masks as well. Trouble is, Doherty says he received a phone call from Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter on Tuesday asking Doherty to meet with Governor Eric Holcomb's chief legal counsel. Doherty says he referred the state and county officials to his attorney. But I've received no cease and desist letter from him. I've received nothing from the governor that says do not race other than uh, the vague definitions of the governor's uh, executive order. Indiana State Police First Sergeant Ron Galaviz told Star City News the goal is to get voluntary compliance. But Doherty says he's told state officials that without an order, he refuses to close voluntarily. He says racetracks are excluded from any kind of emergency government funding, and he's trying to keep his business going. We feel that we are practicing a safer discipline than the large box stores of people going to now. And we would just like the opportunity to run our business in a safe manner and be able to pay our bills and pay our taxes. The Circus City Speedway in Peru had planned to race on Saturday, but according to the Speedway website, the Indiana Excise Police ordered the track to suspend operations. Governor Holcomb authorized the Excise Police to shut down businesses that aren't complying with the COVID-19 restrictions. For Star City News, I'm Chris Marisi Vita in Tippecanoe County.